10 replicates of samples spiked with 100 pp concentration and I got these results then if I want to calculate this directly from using the excel sheet I can go for data then data analysis then ANOVA single factor using one way ANOVA if I don't have if you didn't find data analysis here you can go for file options and here add-ins Excel add-ins then go if I if I remove this selection okay that analysis will be removed from here so I have to go again file options add-ins Excel add-ins go and select here and data analysis came back so data analysis then ANOVA single factor which is one way ANOVA okay here the input range all of these results enter and labels in first row yeah I added the labels so I will select this alpha significance level or five percentage error and here output range you can select as example here then enter and ok these are the results as I said in the lecture the most important results here if statistical this one if statistical p-value and if critical if the if statistical or if value higher than if critical so there is a significant difference between the means of these three instruments and the performance will be different but if if statistical less than if critical so there is no significant difference and also p-value if p-value less than the five percentage error or alpha level uh, 0.05 so there will be a significant difference but here 0.8 it's higher than 0.05 so there is no significant difference between the means of these three instruments and that means if you have two instruments in your lab and you bought another instrument and you want to check the performance of this instrument you will analyze as as we did the, that replicate of samples spiked with non concentration then if you found that there is no significant difference so there is no difference between the performance of these instruments and all of these instruments can be used to analyze these target analytes and get accurate and reliable results so there is no significant difference in this case and uh, so the performance of these instruments are equal if you want to calculate manually using the same example three instruments using to analyze the same target analytes and you ran replicate of sample spiked with 100 pp concentration then you got these results first you will do the first table you will add the results for each instrument then number of replicates 10 for each submission for each group average for each group then grand total as I mentioned in the lecture grand total equal to submission of all of these results submission but for all results for 30 replicates enter grand mean equal to grand total divided by number of replicates number of replicates 30 correction factor equal to grand total square divided by summation of all replicates so grand total square 
divided by 30 then some some square some square this is function here some square some square for all of these data all readings this is the first table in the second table a minus mean square means each reading in group a minus the average of group a and b minus mean square also each reading in group b minus the average of group b square and also for c so i will calculate like this equal to a this reading minus average and square if I calculated like this I cannot calculate other reading easily so I should do in this equation I should add to dollar sign here dollar sign enter then if I move it like this it will be calculated for all readings same here equal to B minus this average equal to C just B minus then you calculate the summation for each group or you can move like this this is the second table the last table and the most important table which is the source of variation First, you will calculate sum of squares within group and between group variability. Sum of squares within group, within group, as I said, the difference between results within the same group. So, it can be calculated from the difference between each reading and the average. You can get the error or the variation. So, sum of squares within group variability equal to summation of all of these results for group 1 plus group 2 plus group 3 then total total equal to some 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 squares minus this correction factor calculated from the first table enter then you can calculate between group variable sum of squares for between group which is equal to total minus sum of squares within group enter degree of degree of freedom equal to between group as i said in the lecture for all groups three minus one three groups minus one n minus one here three minus one so it will be two Bet within groups within groups equal to 30 all results all readings minus 3 in 1 minus 1 plus in 2 minus 1 plus in 3 minus 1 so it will be 27 and total equal to this plus mean of squares as I said in the lecture equal to summation of squares divided by degree of freedom for each one
if statistical or if value if critical and p value which are the more important the most important results and depending on these results we can uh, decide if there is a significant difference or not if value at the beginning equal to as i said in the lecture the ratio of between group and within group variability equal to between group sum of squares divided by within group sum of squares enter if critical equal to if there is a function here if n enter probability of errors which is 0 0.05 significance level comma degree f degree of freedom one which is between group variability comma and degree of freedom two this one enter p value equal to f from function also if distribution if distribution x which is f value f statistical then comma degree of freedom one comma degree of freedom to enter and as i said if f value higher than f critical so there is a significant difference but and also if p value less than 0 0.05 probability of errors so there is a significance level here if statistical lower than if critical and p value less than less than 0 0.05 probability of errors so there is no significant difference there is no significant significant difference between the means of these three instruments and all of these instruments can be used to analyze these target analytes and we can get accurate and reliable results using all of them but what you will do if you found that if value if or if statistical higher than if critical and p value less than 0 0.05 probability of errors in this example you will calculate from data data analysis then ANOVA one way okay input range this range labels alpha error output range here enter okay then you found that if statistical 11 point and if critical 3.35 so if statistical higher than if critical and p value less than 0 0.05 so you will run another post hoc test which is as example least significant difference to calculate as i mentioned the equation in the lecture you should calculate t value at the beginning t value t value equal to t and this uh, function probability of error which is 0 0.05 and degree of freedom but within group variability due to the experimental error so all of them enter least significant difference equal to t value multiplied by square root of two brackets two multiplied by m mean of squares but also within group variability within group variability mean of square squares within group variability then divided by n divided by n number of replicates for one group because we calculated using within group variability due to experimental error so you will use 10 number of replicates 10 not 30 then enter it came out 10.27 if the difference between any two groups if the difference between any two groups in the average if the difference between any two groups was less was less than least significant difference value so there is no significant difference but if the difference between any two groups was higher than least significant difference so there is a significant difference and you will know which group exactly so here as example 122 minus in this average equal to group a minus group b 
enter group a minus group c or okay, minus group c enter it's 22.9 group a from group c and also group b minus group c group b minus group c 16.3 so this group which is group c there is a significant difference between these three groups or three instruments and the the mean of this group this is the problem the performance of this instrument not accurate and should not be used this group group c the problem was here the difference the mean of this group is different than other groups so here you can say if you compare between the performance of three instruments that this instrument cannot be used to analyze this target analytes to get accurate and reliable results but you can use only these two instruments that was the end of our lecture for today i wish that was valuable for you and inshallah in the next lecture i will explain two-way anova with and without replication uh, thank you and see you in the next lecture inshallah